to integrate your school community with your Go High Level account, what you're going to do is log into your school community. You're going to go to settings on the right hand side over here. And then we're going to click on the plugins menu item here. And then we're going to select Zapier integration and click edit. And then we want to make sure that this is toggled on. Now we're going to walk you through four different use cases for using this Zapier integration. So let's head over to Zapier and talk about what this looks like. So now we're in Zapier. If you're not familiar with Zapier, Zapier is a tool that allows you to connect two different pieces of software together so that they can speak back and forth to each other. And this is how you're going to automate a lot of your processes. So let's click the create button here and let's click zaps. And in these zaps, you have both triggers and you have actions. So triggers are the action steps that initiate the automation. And then the action steps are the actions that take place as a result of that trigger, getting people into this automation. All right, so the first integration that we're gonna set up is when someone joins your free community, we're gonna push those people into your Go High Level account into a nurture sequence. I'm gonna come in here and I'm basically gonna rename this. I'm gonna say new free community member. Okay, so that's gonna be our the name of our zap. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the trigger here. And then we're going to type in school and then that'll help you find the actual of the app that you want to be using, which is school. There are two triggering events with school. There's either when someone answers your membership questions, which is when somebody joins your free community or when a new paid member is added. And that's when somebody joins your paid community. So again, we're going to start by setting up the integration for the new free member. So I'm going to click on answered membership questions and then I'm going to click continue. And if this is the first time you're ever using this Zap, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click choose an account and then you'll click connect new account. And then to connect your account, you're gonna need your school API key and you're gonna need your group URL. So to get those two uh, items, what you're gonna do is go back to your community and in the Zapier connection or Zapier integration plugin, there is a place here where you can click copy and that's gonna copy your API key. And then what you would do is you would go back to that pop-up. You'd paste it in here. I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to see my API key. And I've already done this. Um, and then to get the school URL, you're going to grab just the end of this URL. Click copy. And then we're going to go back to the pop-up. And we'll paste that in here. And then once you have both of those items in there, this will turn bright orange. And you can click yes, continue to school. And that's going to integrate your school community with uh, this with Zapier. So I'm going to go ahead and select the one I've already added and then we're going to click continue and then we can test our trigger. I've actually tried to join my community earlier so this is a test and then I'm going to click continue with selected record and then we're going to select the action. So that was the triggering event when somebody answers our membership questions to our free community. Now what do we want to happen as a result of that? So we're going to type in lead connector because that is the app for Go High Level in Zapier. And then the event, I like to just add or update a contact record. So that's the event I'm gonna select. And then we're gonna click continue. And then we're gonna choose an account. Let's show you how to integrate your first high level account. So I'm gonna click connect account here. And then we're going to basically need the API key. So to grab that, you're gonna to go to your sub account that you are trying to connect with school. And then you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to business info. And if you scroll down before, below all your business information, you can click this little, this is the API key. You're going to click this little clipboard here. That's going to copy it to your clipboard. And then you are actually going to go over to that pop-up that you saw before. I'm going to pause my video, paste this in because I'm connecting a new account and I'll be right back. All right. So I've connected my high level account. I'm going to edit the name. So this is going to be my community snapshot. I'm going to click OK. And then now we've got our high level account connected to Zapier. So I'm going to click continue and then we're going to set up the action. So basically what we're doing here is we're pulling all the information from the trigger and we're input inputting it into the action step here. So I'm going to grab my first name here. I'm going to grab my last name. I'm going to grab the email address, which is what we ask as our second question. What's your best email address? And then our third question is, so we captured their phone number. So that is answer number three for me. And then that is all the basic information. Then what we want to do is we want to add a tag. So 
inside of our high level account, our snapshot that we created for you guys, if you're interested in getting this, if we go to automation and then we go to our community nurture workflow folder here, and then we click into the free community nurture, which is when somebody joins our free community, we can see that one of the triggers here is when somebody joins our free community, a tag is going to be added, and that is going to be the trigger that gets people into this automated workflow in high level. So if I click on that trigger, let's take a look at what the actual tag is. So it's free community dash joined. So I need to add this tag when somebody joins our free community to their contact record. So to do that, I'm just going to type this in exactly like it was in high level. So free community joined. And so basically what's going to happen, this automation is automatically going to create this contact record. Or if there's already somebody in the system that has this email, it's just going to add this, con this tag to their record. And then once that tag is added, they are going, this is, that's going to trigger this automation so that we can start to send them email and text message follow-up if we want to add text message to it. Okay. And so now we have the tag that's going to be added. Now I like to have a source in there if it's not already been, if they don't already have a source on their record. So I'm going to do free community as the source. And then one last thing I want to add, well, we have to select mark as lead. You have to select true. This is a required field. And then the last thing that I want to do is we have a custom field in our snapshot that allows us to track when people joined our free community. So you can see date joined free community and then I'll just grab the date here and add that. And now I know when people join our free community, we can track them all the way to like booking a call or becoming a client so we can track how long our sales cycle is taking. So once we have that set up, I'm gonna click continue and then I'm gonna do test step. I should have been put into this workflow. So I'm gonna refresh here and then I'm gonna check the enrollment history. All right, so I'm gonna check the enrollment history and you can see that on August 13th, I was added to this workflow. So now I will start going through all the actions in this workflow that we have set up and then I will start getting emails, driving me back to my community and also trying to get uh, this person to book a call. So that is when somebody joins your free community, adding them to our free community nurture workflow. Once we have our new free community member zap set up to zap people when they join our free community into go high level, we can make it really easy on ourselves to do the same for the paid community. So what I'm going to do is click this little drop down here. I'm going to click on duplicate and that's basically just going to create a clone of our free community member zap. So I'm going to click rename here. I'm going to rename this to new paid community member and then I'm going to start to edit this zap so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the trigger here so I'm going to click on the trigger and then I'm going to go back to the app event stage of the trigger and I'm going to change this from answered membership questions to new paid member so when somebody joins our paid community that's going to be the trigger now so I'm going to click continue earlier we connected our free community now we actually need to integrate our paid community because they're two different communities so I'm going to click change here I'm going to click connect new account and that pop-up is going to show up again and remember we need to get our API key and our school our uh, group URL so I'm going to go back to school I'm going to toggle over to my paid community I'm going to go into settings and then I'm going to go to plugins and then I'm going to go to Zapier integration click edit and then I'm going to make sure that this is toggled on and I'm going to actually grab my group URL first I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here and then I'm going to actually grab my school API key and integrate it real quick and I will pause the video and I'll be right back. All right, so now we have our paid community integrated. I'm going to click continue and then we can test our trigger. So this is basically going to bring some information from somebody that joined our paid community. I'm going to click continue with selected record. And again, the event for the action here um, to add somebody to your high level account, the app's going to be lead connector. And the event that I like to use for these zaps is add or update a contact. So I'm going to click continue again. We've already integrated our high level account previously, so we don't have to do that again. And I'm going to click continue. And now I'll start to plug in the information from the trigger into the action step. So we've already got our first name, we've already got our last name, 
the phone number and email is not the same information, not the same data from the previous Zap that we set up. So we're going to have to delete those out. And then the only one we're going to add back in here is the actual email address. And so the email is just going to be this uh, field right here. So I'm just going to click on that and that's going to add the email in. Then what we need to do is we need to change our tag. I believe the tag that I'm using in high level to trigger the workflow is paid community joined, but let's head over to our group fuel account and let's make sure. So if I go back to automations and I go into our community nurture folder, if I go into our paid community uh, nurture workflow and click on that, and again, this is in the snapshot if you're interested in getting this, I can see the trigger action here, contact tag added. I'm gonna click on that and let's make sure that our tag is correct. So it's paid community dash joined. So if I go back to our zap, I've got paid community dash joined, so that's good. The source is gonna be paid, so I'm gonna change this to paid. And then I'm gonna mark the lead as true and make sure that's required, it's already done if you've duplicated this app, like I said. Now we're gonna delete out the date joined free community. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control F and I'm gonna find the joined paid community field joined paid community and I'm going to click into that field and then I'm going to grab the date here and then now we've got this zap set up I'm going to click continue I'm going to test that step I should have this person in here all right so you can see that this person is now inside of the paid community nurture workflows so I'm actually going to delete this person out so they don't get any emails from me now we've got our new paid community member uh, workflow set up so we can click publish now so we went over how to integrate your school community and high level when the trigger is when either somebody joins your free community or your paid community and we're sending that person's information into your crm now let's go the opposite direction let's say that we want to invite people once they join our crm they become a lead we want to invite them to our school community or unlock some courses so i'm going to go over to zapier again and i want to show you something interesting so i'm going to click on this trigger here and if we search for lead connector and then i go here and i try to select an event the only option that we have here is pipeline stage change. So that's pretty limiting in how we can actually invite people into our school community. So what I like to do instead is I like to click change here and I want to use webhooks by Zapier. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch a hook and then I'm going to click continue and then I'm going to click continue again and then I'm going to grab this URL here for our webhook. Now what I want to do is I want to go back to my high level account. I want to go to automations and this is our snapshot again. We have a new lead folder here. I'm going to go to new lead folder and then I'm going to click into this workflow that we have set up. So this is a new contact invite to school. So I'm going to select that. And this is basically when a new contact is added to high level, it's going to invite that person to school. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in here and we're going to go through this workflow step by step. So the trigger is going to be contact created. So anytime a contact is created, then that is going to be the trigger for this particular workflow. But I want, first want to check and see if they are already a member of my paid community. If so, then I don't want to invite them to my free community. I also want to check and see if they are a member of my free community, if they're not a member of my paid community, because I, if they're already a member, I don't want to re-invite them. To do that, what I've done is I, if I click this little plus button here and I select if else, I've already done this, but this is a basically a conditional logic action. And so let me click into this and explain how this works. So this is basically checking to see if this person is a member of my paid community. If yes, and they have the tag that includes paid community member, which means they're a member of my paid community, then they're going to go down this branch and then the workflow is just going to end. Nothing happens. Now, if they don't have this tag, they're going to go down this branch and then this is another conditional logic action that's going to check and see if they're a member of my free community. So if yes, and they have the tag includes free community member, they're going to go down this branch and the workflow is going to end. But if they don't have that tag, they're going to go down this branch and then that is where we're going to set up our webhook. So I'm going to click, if I click on this button and I search for an action, action I can type in webhook and then I just select this webhook. So we've already got here, ours here. I'm going to click into this and I'm going to say invite to free community. I'm going to paste in my webhook here. What I'm going to do is set up three items that I want to push 
from this workflow into the Zap to integrate with school. So I'm gonna first type in first name here. I'm gonna type in last name that's already there and email. And then to actually add this value in here, what I'm gonna do is click on this little tag here. I can click contact and then I can select first name. I've already done it. And then I'll do that same thing for the last name. I'll click the tag, click contact, and then select last name. And then I'll click the tag again click contact and then select email for this last item. And then once I have that set up and save the workflow, we should be able to test this trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back out of here. I'm gonna go to contacts and then I'm gonna add myself as a contact. So I'm gonna type in Ron Medlin and then I'm gonna type in, let's see, add email address. Um, let's just do Ron at go high ticket now.com i'm going to click save that should give me something i can test with so let's click on test trigger and you can see that that information is now pushed into our zap so i'm going to click continue with selected record and then we're going to type in school and i'm going to type school there and so the first event is we can invite a member i'm just going to click continue and I'm going to choose the account. It's going to be our free one here. All right, so once the action's loaded, now we need to add our email address in here. So I'm just going to grab that from the webhook that came in. So there's our email address. And then we can add them to courses if we want. So you can do that when you first invite somebody in. You can add them to courses, but then we'll also show you the action to unlock courses next. So we can just choose courses. I'm just going to select this one. And then you can add another one here if you want. I click continue. We can test that step. We can go to settings, invite, and then we can look at all the pending invites. So you can see I was just invited, okay? And I was added to two courses. Now let's go back to our zap and I'm going to add another step here. And this is just gonna show you how to unlock courses. So I'm gonna type school again. I'm going to select the event unlock course for member. And I'm going to click continue, continue again. I'm going to type the email address from the first step, which is the webhook. And then I'm going to select additional courses. So remember, we only had two courses previously. And so now I'm going to unlock the expert sessions and let's just say the community snapshot setup. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to test that step. So let me go to my email and I should have been invited to those two courses. So let me check this out. Uh, community builders free. And I've been invited to join their community since this is the second one. So you can see that I got invited to these two additional courses. So that's how you use the two actions from the school Zapier integration. So I can, once I've got all this set up, I can click publish. I've got my zap set up that when somebody joins a go high level, I can invite them into my community and I can unlock courses for those folks. Now you know exactly how to integrate your school community with go high level. If you're interested in the snapshot mentioned in this video, I'm going to drop a link in the description so you can book a call.